Hey guys, we're going to continue with centripetal forces, but now we're going to focus on vertical centripetal forces, so motion in the vertical direction. A big difference here is that mg and normal, those two forces, are going to play more of a role than they did in circular uh, horizontal centripetal force. Okay, let's check it out. Um, we're going to start with an example here. I have a Ferris wheel of radius 50. Uh, so let's write that. So we got a Ferris wheel. Let's draw a little circle, and the radius is 50. And it takes 30 seconds to make a full cycle. 30 seconds to make a cycle, that's the definition of period, time to make a cycle. So I can right away write that period equals 30 seconds. An 80 kilogram guy rides on it. So the mass of this guy is 80 kilograms. Cool. Calculate his speed and centripetal acceleration. So this is straightforward. Um, v is 2 pi r over t or 2 pi r f. I have t, so I'm going to go with this version of the equation. Now, if you ride on a Ferris wheel, you're always at the edge of it. So your distance from the center is basically the same thing as your radius. Okay, So I can plug these numbers in here. 2 pi 50 over 30. And if you do all this, I have it here. You get a 10.5. So nothing weird here. And for acceleration, it's just v squared over r. Again, nothing weird, straightforward. 10.5 squared r is 50. And if you do this, you get a 2.2 um, meters per second squared. So hopefully you agree that that part is straightforward. Um, this is what's actually new here. I want to know his apparent weight at the bottom. Apparent weight, remember, is just what is the normal force acting on him in the bottom. So for part B, I want to know what is n bottom. And for part C, I want to know what is n top, the normal force acting on him when he's at the top. So let's first draw what this looks like if he is in the bottom. So you're inside of the little cart thingy for the Ferris wheel. And that's you right there. So mg pushes you down, and normal pushes you up. So normal is positive, mg is negative. OK? When you are at the top of the Ferris wheel, here's a little thing you're in. Mg is pulling you down, so it's positive, And normal pushes you up, so it's negative. So the force is basically a flip in terms of signs. The difference between a Ferris wheel and a traditional roller coaster when you're looping is that on the Ferris wheel, you're always pointing up, even at the top, obviously. And on the roller coaster, you're upside down at the top. So in the roller coaster, your normal would have been down, which would have made it positive. But here, you're always um, straight up. So F equals MA is how I'm going to find forces. That's how you always find forces. Some of all forces in centripetal is F equals MA. And the forces are normal positive and MG negative. This is for the bottom. So the first picture here equals MAC. I'm looking for normal. So I hope you see right away normal is just MA plus mg. I have a, a is 2, so I can just plug in the numbers and I get the answer. So normal will be 80, 2.2, plus 80, 9.8. And if you plug this in, you get 960. Okay? So what I want you to do now is I want you to just pause the video and try part C. Try part C. Uh, I drew the, the, the diagram for you already. Uh, you should be able to just plug into F equals MA. I'm going to keep going here. Hopefully you tried some of all forces centripetal. And the only thing that changes is that normal is now negative and MG is now positive. So when I solve for normal, I'm going to send um, this guy to the other side so I get this. And to get normal positive, I can just multiply both sides by negative 1 or I can move things around however you like to do it. So this is going to look like this. All the signs flip. Okay. So normal is mg minus ma. Okay. So mg minus ma. And you do this, you get 608 newtons. Okay. That's it for this one.